reality. To our local government units and national government agencies, our deepest thanks. At sa Administrasyong Marcos, marami pong salamat sa tiwala at suporta. As the prime advocate and custodian of water security in Metro Manila, Rizal, Bulacan, and portion of Cavite, the MWSS remains steadfast in the commitment to implement projects that will provide clean, potable, and affordable water. Our projects shall contribute to the strategic infrastructure development of the agenda of the President for Build Better More programs. Our projects shall contribute to the upliftment of the Filipino people. Sa inyo pong lahat, marami pong salamat. Marami pong salamat, uh, Administrator Cleofas. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to give us a better idea of how significant this project is, let us all watch this short video presentation. Steadfast in its commitment to further strengthen water security and sustainability, Maynila constructed the 11 billion water treatment plant in Poblacion, Montinlupa City. The Poblacion Water Treatment Plant is the company's third facility to tap the Laguna Lake as an alternate raw water source to Angat Dam. Designed to produce 150 million liters per day at full capacity, the facility will help to improve water pressure and supply availability for customers in Paranaque, Las Piñas, Muntinlupa, and Cavite. The facility will bolster service reliability for about 1 million customers in the south, where water supply availability tends to be curtailed by shifts in the quality of Laguna Lake, which have been occurring with more frequency due to climate change effects. The Poblacion Treatment Facility converts raw water from Laguna Lake to potable water supply that meets the Department of Health's Philippine National Standards for Drinking Water. It uses a multi-stage treatment process that includes dissolved air flotation, this cloth filter, biological aerated filter, ultrafiltration, reverse osmosis, and disinfection via chlorination. The Poblacion Water Treatment Plant is part of Maynilad's $220 billion service enhancement program from 2023 to 2027. This facility is part of the business plan approved by the MWSS Regulatory Office and Board of Trustees. Thank you very much. Thank you for that eye-opening and informative video. This facility is part of the business plan approved by the MWSS Board of Trustees and the Regulatory Office. It gives us a broader picture of how this particular facility enhances current water system in the West Concession area and how it will greatly benefit the consuming public. At this juncture, may we request the President to lead the unveiling of the inaugural marker to be assisted by DNR Secretary Loisaga, Admin Cleofas, Maynilad Chairman MVP, and Maynilad President Ramon Fernandez. By instructions of the President, I have to count us down. Three, two, one, go!
Thank you so much, Mr. President. Maraming salamat po, mahal na Pangulo. May we request the President for a photo opportunity. Uh, I think this will have to be moved. <laughs> no? Move, huh? Huh? Mamaya pa? Ah, mamaya. Okay. Ito na, oh. Okay. Okay, okay. Later on. And now, may we request Environment and Natural Resources Secretary Maria Antonia Yulo Loisaga to introduce the guest of honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos, Jr. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Maritone Yulo Loisaga, our uh, DNR Secretary. Please, uh, please uh, take your seats. The uh, Montinlupa Lone District Representative, uh, Congressman Jaime Fresnedi, Montinlupa City Mayor, Rosano Rufiano Biazon, MWSS Administrator Leonor Cleofas, and of course, uh, our most important partner in all of these endeavors is our, on, our, on the private, from the private sector side, uh, the uh, Mainilad Water Services Incorporated Chairman, uh, Manny uh, Pangilinan, fellow workers in government, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning. I am uh, very pleased to be here today joining you in the inauguration of Mainilad's Poblacion Water Treatment Plant. This will provide clean and potable water to residents in Metro Manila and its surrounding areas. I extend my greetings to our distinguished guests, private partners, local government officials, and community leaders who have played a crucial role in making this project a reality. It is a testament to our shared commitment to water security and sustainability. We stand on the brink of completing this crucial project, a necessity heightened by the current challenge posed by the El Nino phenomenon. Your collective efforts ensure that we exceed the demands of our people in these trying times. With the El Nino projected to last until the second quarter of 2024, we must prioritize the repair of water pipes to prevent leakages and the completion of ongoing water supply projects to ensure that we have adequate supply. And so let us call upon the pertinent agencies to intensify their vigilance in overseeing the construction of water supply facilities, particularly in regions grappling with water scarcity. As we confront present and future challenges, this project is a testament to the positive outcomes that we might achieve when the public and private sectors unite for the greater good. I invite the private sector once more to further explore opportunities to collaborate with government in addressing our water supply challenges. Let us continue to work together so that we can provide our people with the best quality services that they truly deserve. Water, although uh, we refer to water and the supply of water as a service. And, uh, I am of the view that it is in fact a right of our people to be able to expect their government to put systems into place so that water is available to all households, to industry, to agriculture. These are the main uses of water that we have, that we, that we have and so that uh, we still must continue to develop all our capabilities. The focus has sharpened with the onset, with the, pro, with the uh, forecasted onset of uh, El Nino, uh, which at the very least will be with us over the first quarter of next year. And unfortunately, the latest forecast uh, uh, show that there is a distinct possibility that it will last until the second quarter of next year. And therefore, we must prepare. 
uh, we must prepare and learn some of the and, and apply some of the lessons that we have learned uh, during the pandemic when it came to supply of uh, agricultural products of food uh, of the efficiencies of the supply chain all of this will be affected if our water resources are um, are inadequate uh, and so and that is why we have now begun in government a very accelerated effort to prepare for that we uh, well, for all intents and purposes we have a good buffer until maybe the end of the first quarter now what we need to do is to prepare a uh, further uh, further capacity so that should the El Nino extend to the second quarter of next year we are still at the very least able to supply potable water especially in the urban areas uh, we are able to supply our agriculture we are able to supply our industry uh, and uh, one of the, uh, the elements that uh, we um, have uh, uh, sometimes do not think about we think about the, those uh, major uses of water we also have to be thinking about our hospitals hospitals cannot operate without water and with the onset of uh, of a drought uh, that will become more and more important as, as it goes on and so these are the issues that are confronting us now but with projects such as these and the further following projects i was looking at the brief uh, there is another one here in mandaluyong and i think there's three more in cavite uh, and that will all be that is all to the good and we have to get those uh, that we have to get those facilities built and operating so that we can consider ourselves at least minimal minimally ready for the uh, the arrival of uh, the uh, drought that will be coming next year now i i i do not mean to uh, frighten everyone anyone off but it is a serious problem and um, but there there are, we, we we are familiar with the capabilities of both private sector and public sector put us together and there's much that we can do and let us do that so that uh, uh, we are have done our duty to the people and continue to provide as i said what i consider their right to availability of clean fresh water Sa so, sabagong Pilipinas na sinisikap natin na itaguyod ngayon, hiling ko ang pagkikilaho ng bawat isa upang mapatibay ang ating mga infrastruktura at mapabuti ang kalagayan ng ating mga mamamayan. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat sa inyong ginagawa sa tulong ninyo para sa taong bayan. Mabuhay ang bagong Pilipinas. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. At Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Maraming maraming salamat, mahal na Pangulo. Uh, with your indulgence, Mr. President, we would like to request for a photo opportunity. At this point, I would like to call on the MWSS Board of Trustees and officials of the Regulatory Office to please come on stage and join the President. My Nilad Top Management, uh, please prepare. Maraming maraming salamat. I'd like to call on now to join the President on stage, my Nilad Top Management Team.
Maynila Dynamic Board Officers, DMCI, Marubeni, officials from the Spanish Embassy, Acciona, please be ready. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you very much. And now, I would like to call on Maynila Dynamic Board, Marubeni, DMCI, officials from the Spanish Embassy, and Acciona. Salamat. And now we would like to call on our uh, local government officials to please come on stage. We have Congressman Rufi Biazon and Major Mayor Fresnedi. Mayor, magandang maga po. And the other officials of the national government agencies present to please come on stage. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat po. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our short but sweet program. Maraming salamat po, mahal na Pangulo, sa inyong oras for taking part of this momentous event and for your varied contributions in making this project possible, sir. It warms our heart that you all found the time to join us this morning. And Mr. President, have a safe trip to Japan. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, ang Pangulo ng Republika ng Pilipinas, His Excellency Ferdinand Romaldez Marcos Jr. <laughs>